Where are the dandelion flowers? The bees have been out for weeks now, and dandelions are supposed to be their first food. Where are those flowers? Lots of people talk about the importance of leaving dandelions in the lawn for the bees. But how important is this? Well, the first claim people make is that the dandelions are one of the first food of bees. But that's not really true. Long before the dandelions bloom, lots of other perennials are blooming. And even more important to bees are the trees, the maples, the elms, the willows, the poplar. They're all blooming early, and that's the main food of bees. If you don't see bees in your garden early in the spring, that's because they're up in the trees getting all the pollen. Here's some of my aspens, and they're blooming right now. It's the middle of April. The maples are just starting to open their flower. And there's all kinds of perennials in my garden that are blooming right now. Here's a snapshot of some of them. Now, I wrote a blog about this a while ago, and someone commented on my blog that where they live, they don't have any trees, and there are no native flowers that open. In the spring, the only thing they have are dandelions. Now, in an area like that, dandelions might be valuable, but do you really have native bees in an area like that? Native bees would have nothing to eat, so there's no reason for them to live in that area. And we have to distinguish between honeybees and native bees. We don't have to provide food for honeybees in our garden. Now here's a picture from a couple years ago. The lawn full of dandelion, and right beside it are some flowering pears. There were no bees on the dandelions. They were all on the fruiting trays. Part of the reason might be that the picture was taken later in the day, and dandelions only provide their pollen early in the morning. But it's clear to see that the trees were doing a much better job in feeding our native bees, insects, and flies. What about the quality of the dandelion pollen? Well, it turns out it's not really good for bees. One of the reasons bees go after pollen is to get at the protein. Dandelion pollen is not a great source for protein because it's missing four of the essential amino acids that bees need. In fact, it's been shown that when bees spend a lot of time on the dandelions, they miss out on better quality pollen in other places. Now, once dandelions are on your lawn, bees will come and use it, and it's better than no food at all but it's not a great food for them. Dandelions do provide good quality nectar. So is it a good idea to leave the dandelions in your lawn? If you like dandelions, keep them. They're a really pretty flower in the spring. If you don't mind them in your lawn, that's another good reason to keep them. Why weed them out when they look so nice? But if you're interested in feeding the bees, dandelions are a poor choice. It's much better to put in a garden with early flowering plants. If you're not sure which plants to pick, have a look at this video. He'll show you the plants that are blooming in my garden at least two weeks before the dandelions open up. Have fun gardening.